Today we're going to be talking about theorems involving parallel lines. The first theorem that we have is if two lines are parallel, so I have line M is parallel to line L, then all points on one line are equidistant, remembering that means the perpendicular distance from the other line. So that means that if M is parallel to L, then if I have a right angle there, the distance, which is AC, is going to be equal to the distance, which is BD. <clears throat> okay, next example. If three, or this is another theorem. This theorem we use a little bit more often than the last one. So three parallel lines. So WA is parallel to XB, which is also parallel to YC. Um, and they cut off congruent segments, so I don't need my then piece yet. So I cut off congruent segment. That means that WX, WX is equal to XY, then they cut off congruent segments on every transversal. So then this other transversal that I have here, AC, I'm going to cut off congruent segments. So that means that AB is going to be equal to BC. An example of that. So what do I have here? I am given, I'm given a parallel line, parallel line, and parallel line. And I know that RS is equal to ST. So I have three sets of parallel lines and I cut off congruent pieces on one transversal. Therefore, I'm going to cut off congruent pieces on the other transversal. AB is the length of 13. BC is the length of 7x minus 1. So I know that 7x minus 1 is going to equal 13. I need to solve for x, so 7x is equal to 14. x is equal to 2. Okay, next example. A line that connects the midpoint of one side of a triangle. So let's have a triangle here. And again, this is another theorem. So A, B, C. It contains the midpoint of one side of a triangle, X, Y. So if X is the midpoint of AC and is parallel, so and XY is parallel to CB. So let's mark up that diagram. I have my midpoint. I have parallel pieces. Then it goes through the midpoint of the other side, so therefore then AY is equal to YB. And if you think about it, <clears throat> the last theorem helps prove us. I can draw a line through A parallel to X, Y, and C, B. I have this line, X, Y, intersects and breaks off congruent segments, A, X, and X, C. Therefore, A, Y, and Y, B are also going to be equal. Mid-segment theorem. This is an important theorem. This is something that I really, really want to make sure you guys know. So the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides. So X and Y are the midpoints. That's a little different than the last theorem we talked about. Meaning that I have the midpoints here. Then I know I'm parallel. And it's half the length. So let's call that X. So therefore this is going to be 2X. So that's called the mid-segment. XY is called the mid-segment. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, this segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So this segment's equal to that segment. This segment here is equal to that segment there. Solve for x and y. Well, I know since this mid segment here joins this segment, the midpoints, I know 3x minus 2y is going to equal 8. Now at the same time, this 7 is half of 5x minus 3y. Or thinking about it another way, 5x minus 3y is equal to twice 7, which is 14. Now solving that system, elimination is going to be our best option. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative 3. So I get a negative 9x plus a 6y equals a negative 24. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 2. So I get a 10x minus a 6y equals a 28. Add the two equations together, I get x equals 4. So I've got x equals 4. Now I need to get y. Plug back into one of these two equations that we had. I'm going to plug into the top one just because the numbers are a little bit smaller. So I have 3 times 4 minus 2y equals 8. So I have 12 minus 2y equals 8. Negative 2y is equal to, I subtract 12 over, that's a negative 4. y is going to be equal to 2. So therefore y is equal to 2. And this was using our mid-segment theorem. Okay, there are your two lesson questions for the day. You have two different diagrams. And make sure you pay attention to what we're given here for each question to help you solve for x.